61 experts sharing their insights in a book about everything coffee. The craft, the science, the evolution of our enduring relationship with it. We felt that there was an opportunity to bring together the academic and the applied world of coffee in the same book. So the approach that we took was to combine scientific rigor with craft examples in each chapter. People don't understand necessarily how many types of professionals work in coffee. How scientists and economists and social scientists and all sorts of experts have to come together to make this amazing beverage happen. Each stage of coffee's journey from bean to cup is explored in the book The Craft and Science of Coffee. It is unique, this combination of asking an uh, experienced barista to share his or her experience uh, and the scientist on the other side, which is the more the analytical person. Very often people ask me to write about the Arabica and the beauty of that coffee. And for the first time that someone walked up and asked me, would you write about Robusta? The book is a special blend of knowledge and perspectives from respected voices across the industry. It's full of fascinating facts and expert observations. Coffee contains more than 1,000 volatiles, from which only about 30 to 40 aroma components make up the aroma of coffee. And interestingly, you will find similar components also in roasted beef. Did you know that in the roasting process, the structure, the microstructure of the bean and the bean chemistry, they work hand in hand. So the, the flavor generation is really also bound to the microstructure of the bean. Italians always drink their coffee standing up in the bar. And that goes back to a law which was actually passed in 1911. And it said that you could put a maximum price on a cup of coffee, but only if it was served without service. The coffee industry is always in flux. Beyond innovation, there are a host of challenges, natural, economic and social. Four chapters are devoted to the complexity of sustainability. I am Juan Carlos Ardila. I'm the son of a Colombian coffee farmer. The average age of the coffee farmer in Colombia is 57. And we need the next generation to get involved, plant coffee and make it sustainable. And the fact that coffee grows along the equator means that it's naturally in a place where there's going to be poverty and social issues. But the good thing is that it's consumed by a world that wants to do something about this. Coffee sustainability is key for the producer to survive. Micro roasters and large multinationals are on the same page, helping the producer and helping the consumer at the same time. If you like drinking your coffee, it's very important that you start uh, thinking of the attributes of this coffee and thinking uh, where it comes from, uh, how is it produced. Our romance with coffee began before recorded history in the forests of East Africa. It flourished across empires and mini epochs and continues to grow in strength and character. The book, The Craft and Science of Coffee, charts its evolution to become the world's social fuel of choice. <laughs>